Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Name. It's me, Ella, and today I'm going to show you some knit crates. <laughs> I say some knit crates because I haven't gotten a knit crate. I didn't get one in June or August, not June, July, August, and then September. Uh, so I ended up emailing the company, and it turns out they overlooked me <laughs> when they redid their um, affiliate link program thing. So she ended up, she sent me the link to sign up to that uh, the right way, and then she sent me the September crate. I got it and then I noticed in my uh, Delivery notifications that I had another thing from knit crate coming and when it came it was the other two crates that I had missed Which is really cool that they sent those they didn't have to at all You know, I wasn't expecting it, but they, they sent them so I got all three of them So now I'm going to show you the three knit crates that I got in September that are July's August's and September's so I'll start with September since it's the most recent one and um, They all three came differently <laughs> the the September one came in the original knit crate box Wait, is that right? That's not right. I'll start with July's. I'm sorry. I have them in order. The July one came in the regular knit crate box. It's probably before they had that crisis where they were running out of boxes and all that. But, uh, so I got the book. And it's July's. I'm not going to go into depth of it because you've probably already seen it, but I got the book. And I got the Tunisian crochet hook, which I think is a J. Yeah, it's a six millimeter. Which is actually really cool because I've been wanting to get some of these hooks because uh, Anna <laughs> over at Adventures with Anna, she always does Tunisian crochet. So she always gets me interested in trying it some more. I've made a dishcloth in Tunisian crochet before. It's part of a crochet a long, a long time ago. So uh, I will take this and try to figure out something to make with it and uh, see, see what happens. <laughs> but the yarn that I got for July is the Euro yarn. And it says Stitch and Hustle Cotton Basic. So it's a cotton yarn. It's 100% organic uh, Pima, Pima cotton. DK weight, 266 yards each. Oh, I got the pretty pinky, purpley one. <laughs> it looks pinker on the screen. It's more purple in the real life. It's called Hustle. <laughs> and yeah, I already said 266 and it's DK. So cute cotton yarn. I really like this. I'm actually going to want to make something like that, I think. I don't know. I always say that and then I never end up using it. So that was my July box. Let me put that over there. And then the August one came in a little gray bag. So it wasn't um, in a box. But this is the August one that I got. And this is the one that came with a coaster. This is actually cool because I usually use a crochet dishcloth as a coaster here on my table. So now I have actual coaster I'm going to put under my water right now to use as coaster. <laughs> and again, I got like the pinky purple color. <laughs> Although it's funny that they're really similar colors. It's more purple in real life. This is called Vitalana and it's called Our Maker Maker Life Linen Jewel. The colorway is Midsummer Rose. It is 50% superwash merino, 30% linen, 20% silk. It's a finger weight, 400 yards each. So it's 800 yards all together. It's a lot of yards. Um, yeah, I don't know if I'll keep this one. This might go in my giveaway box because it is kind of rough feeling. I don't like uh, wool. Anything that's actual wool, I usually don't like it. I'm an acrylic top person or a cotton top person. <laughs> but uh, it is beautiful. So that's probably going to go in my giveaway box. So you can look forward to that in the future. <laughs> and then, uh, what is this month? September came in a brown box. <laughs> and I noticed something. It's September, but it says August again. And then on the back, it's October. So this is September's book. It's just they have a typo, which is fine. You know, it happens. And I got the little extra for that month. This month is stitch markers. And I got the little star one. I've been seeing people get stars and little suns. Uh, I think that's the only two I've seen so far. But I got the little star. And I got the color I wanted. When I seen the preview, I, I knew which one I wanted. And I was like, if I get that one, I'm going to keep it. And I got the one I wanted, which is the the orange <laughs> super bright orange and it is really beautiful the only problem is this has an alpaca in it and i normally get irritated by alpaca so far this hasn't bothered me just touching it the last one i got it was 100 percent alpaca and as soon as i opened the box it instantly started affecting me so so I'll, i've been kind of like rubbing this to try to see if it's gonna irritate me so far it hasn't so if it hasn't i'm gonna keep it if it does start bothering me i'll have to give it away because uh you know i don't want to have an allergic reaction but this is aldine wools and it says Maya Luna Corazon. I can't read that. <laughs> I can't read that. I probably said that wrong. But it's called Sleek. 
and the colorway is Bliss. It is 55% wool, 30% uh, alpaca, and 15% silk. 220 yards each, so it's probably a DK weight. It doesn't actually say it, but it's bigger than Fangrin. It's probably going to irritate me though, because I, I can already kind of feel the fibery pokiness. So even though it's beautiful, I might have to give this away eventually too. But um, I hope I can keep it because it's pretty... I can at least make something with it maybe and then have to give that away. But it's just easier for me to give the yarn away. I don't know. I'll see. <laughs> but um, it's beautiful yarn. I love it. And I'll, I love the little stitch marker because I love stitch markers. I have a whole bunch of them up there. And uh, this will just go up there with it. Nah. It does have a really small lobster claw. So I'll have to change that out for something bigger that's easier for me to open. Yeah, I'm excited to finally get to go through these pattern books and look at the patterns and see if there's anything I want to keep and make. And uh, I'll probably, I'm probably going to have to give away the animal fiber ones because they do irritate me. <laughs> uh, I, can, I can already feel it kind of in my hand just from handling that. I thought I was going to be okay, but it's alpaca. Something, something about alpaca always bothers me. But um, So look forward to those two being given away in future videos. But I'm definitely keeping the cotton one because it, it doesn't irritate me at all. And it's beautiful. <laughs> but those are my three knit crates from the last three months that finally made its way to me. So now that I am back in the affiliate thing the right way, <laughs> I can... Um, I've still been getting the little commissions, the little like 10 cent commissions. <laughs> but uh, it's just where they transferred systems that uh, I wasn't signed up the right way. But now that I am, I should be able to pick the colorways that I want. And uh, so that'll be neat. I can be more choosy about the ones that I want to try. But I, I'm pretty sure all the animal fiber ones I'll always have to give away because they do end up irritating me one way or another. But I wanted to share, share those with you guys because I got them all in the same week and I thought it was cool to get three in one week. But uh, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and hop off here and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.